wonder what today's challenge is. I feel like there's gonna be a twist. There's always a twist. Welcome back to Project Rainbow! You all survived another challenge, which is so amazing! But you still have to measure up to your competitors in this next challenge to stay in the contest. And now put your hands together for... Maria, Maria Garcia! Garcia! Hello, hello! Are you ready for another challenge? <laughs> well, today's task is being decided by a spin of our color wheel. <laughs> this week's challenge will have you doing a double take because it's our deja vu challenge. Each group will reuse the materials you used in the first competition to create new formal garments. Told ya! Twist! For this challenge, Rainbow High's leader will be Michelle. And Shadow High, your leader will be Glitch. Okay, you'll have until the end of the day to give your first looks materials a second chance. What are you waiting for? Go, go, go! So, I checked with Maria, and we can only use our accessory material since that was our official first challenge. But how are we supposed to reuse a bit of leather, wire, and beads to make an entire formal look? If anyone can, it's us. You know, if you layer beads just right, they look like scales. Chainmail. Oh, I've made chainmail costumes before. What if we made a sort of jewel mail dress? Love it. Let's get to work. I was going for a trendy party dress. It feels so casual and droopy. And I'm not a fan of repeating ourselves. What if we did ditch the party dress and went full ball gown. And we could use the droop to our advantage and have it spill onto the ground into a dramatic train. It could really cast a shadow on the competition. It's check-in time! A sweatshirt gown is a good idea in theory, but this has no pop. Your model will look like she's wearing a couture blanket. We'll figure out a fix. Make sure it says something about you. Jersey knit is active wear material. How are we supposed to elevate that? Our dress has to send a message. So how about we literally embroider something bold on it? Oh, yeah. What about... Uh, huh. Or maybe... <gasps> yes! Love it! To the Project Rainbow sewing machine! I love the jewel mail, but I'm concerned the overall look is a little costumey. I love the idea, but make sure it says runway, not school play. Noted. Thanks. Well, she said she loved it, except everything about it. Revision is a part of the process. Let's lose the headdress, and maybe we add a train to save the wow factor. It's jammed. Useless machine. It's not the machine's fault. We're jamming 10 yards of stretchy fabric into it. Everyone knows it's usually the losing team's leader who gets cut. I'll do whatever it takes to win. Where's the rest of our beads? We had a whole bag, and we can't finish the train without them. And we're running out of time. Hey, Glitch, have you seen our beads anywhere? Uh, who? Me? <laughs> Haven't seen them. Uh, uh-huh. How did those get there? <laughs> Just let it go. We got this. 
So I spilled the beads. Cheating is the worst kind of basic. Needles down, people! It's finally runway time! away by both teams' recycling, reinvention, and dramatic trains. But there is the issue of cheating. Project Rainbow is about craft and class, not sabotage. The best way to compete is by stepping up your own game, not tripping up your competition. For that reason, the person going back to class is Glitch. I'm sorry, I, I, I felt stuck and... <sighs> I made the worst choice possible. Thanks for owning up to your bad decision, and hopefully this is a lesson you'll never have to repeat. I'm really sorry. Oh, see ya. Now, for your boldness in keeping things honest, Michelle and Rex, you both win immunity next week. Congratulations to you all for making it this far. But now, everyone is going to have to pack their bags because you're all going to Malibu! Oh, wow. Yes! <laughs> Malibu? Now that's the kind of twist I love! That's all we have time for today. But you should totally join us for our next Project Rainbow Challenge in sunny Malibu! Malibu. Yeah.